Okay, so let's continue uh, from here where we saw that the sum of the external torques is equal to I alpha, which is your rotational inertia times your rotational acceleration. We saw that this is similar to sum of the forces is equal to MA. Okay, but now how are the ac rotational acceleration and the rotational velocity related? Well, in the same way that acceleration is dv dt, that's the linear acceleration, rotational acceleration is d omega dt. Okay, you'll see where we're going with this. So if this, so now we take that and we plug that into there. Okay, because there's that's our alpha, and we take that and we plug that into there. And so we're going to get the sum of the external torques is i d omega dt, okay, and um, this then becomes d dt, it's the time rate of change of i omega. And what is i omega? It is <coughs> our angular momentum. i omega is angular momentum. So, this is telling us that the sum of the external torques is equal to the time rate of change of angular momentum. Okay, so remember, uh, the, similarly, the sum of all external forces is equal to the time rate of change of momentum. And so the sum of the external torques is equal to the time rate of change of angular momentum. Okay? Now, if the sum of the torques is equal to zero, then our angular momentum remains constant. Our delta angular momentum is zero. In the same way that if the sum of our forces is zero, then our momentum does not change. And so this uh, situation we have here is called rotational equilibrium. Okay? We also know about translational equilibrium. We've looked at that in chapter 8. So now an object that is in both translational equilibrium, sum of the forces, external forces is zero, and the sum of the external torques is zero. If, uh, if an object is in both of these, then it is called mechanical equilibrium. Okay? So we know already that um, if our if our momentum is to change, then that means that momentum is being transferred across the boundary. That means we've we have an impulse. Well, in the same way, um, we also have something called a rotational impulse that changes the uh, angular momentum. So if something is not in rotational equilibrium then that means that there's been a, a rotational impulse has been delivered to that object or delivered to the system. Okay, so it's exactly the same way. Okay? All right, so um, I think that's good for now. I'll finish off in the next one.